Hi everyone. This is uh, day two of a stay indoors art projects to do. This time we're not live. <laughs> Didn't work as well as I thought I would. But anyway, so here we have our watercolors again. Same uh, very inexpensive ones that you can get even at the drugstore. Water, which I think we all have, and little watercolor paper um, journal. They're very, well, this one was 11 bucks, so they're really nice to work on and you can bring them wherever you want to go. So today I thought I'd um, paint things that I, I really like to paint and it's a really loose um, project and it's fun and you can always use it as a warm-up or try to make it expanding the things that you do and the um, paintings that we'll do today are watercolor poppies. <laughs> so here we are. Hope you guys can see. Let's see. Let's see if I can put it on top or something. I think it would be better up here. You guys can see that a little bit. Okay, anyway. So the secret to these is lots and lots of water. Just let the water do whatever it wants. So I put a blob of water right here. Blob of water right here and some down here. Just tons of little puddles of water, okay? Just little squishes, okay? So poppies are red, and uh, so we use different types of red. Let's use, I like to go with the lighter ones first. This is more of a pink, pink type of a red. And I just put it on and see how the paint just runs out and it's really pretty when it, it does that. That's really what you want. You want it to spread all on its own. And that's what really makes the painting special. So we use pink. And now let's try some of this orange. I like to change the different types. See how it just spreads out. It's really fantastic. And it makes your painting unique really quite fun. So I have those. And uh, let's do a really deep red. I like to put that in the middle and see how it just spreads out. Okay. You can help this by spreading it with a little stick. <laughs> a little skewer here. And can mimic the petals by doing your little skewer thing here. And it's good to do this when it's still wet because it just flows so much nicer. You can see that. Okay. So now we can put in some We can put in some um, stems and leaves and use a smaller brush. I'm just using just cheap brushes here. Okay, let's do it with the green. Now, the greens I like to mix, so let's do, I like a green, goldy type of a green. So I'm just putting this green with a yellow, mixing it right in the palette. It's probably not the best thing to do, but. <clears throat> You can use any other type of surface light. Get this out, sorry about that, like this. You can just mix it on another surface. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of this yellow ochre in it. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna use it for my stems. And just try to vary they're very floppy poppies, right? So, some of those. And the leaves are really flurry. Love those leaves. Now's our chance to vary it a little bit by putting another kind of green in there. So you can add variety to your painting. Like that. 
put it up here in the corner maybe. Like this. And you can get your little skewer out and a little texture there. What's also fun, if I have it, a little bit, you can put all your alcohol on it. That's fun. And the alcohol adds a whole bunch of other texture there. And last but not least, I'm going to put a little bit of sky background and I'll mix that again. Two different blues of this one and this light one. And just drop it in there. Whenever you feel like you like to have some sky in. And you can blot it a little bit. I just have a little sponge here, but I can even use anything. Towels, if I can find any. <laughs> okay, and there you go. There's your loose puppy painting for today. Have fun.